One Day is a new Netflix series based on the 2009 novel by David Nichols. So today, let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services like Netflix. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. After spending graduation night together, Emma and Dexter go their separate ways, but their lives remain intertwined. So the 2009 story was adapted into a 2011 film starring Anne Hathaway and Jim Sturgis, which I saw back in 2011. I vaguely remember that movie. So going into this new series, I was hoping that they would expand more on this idea of exploring this relationship between these friends every single, I believe it was July 15th for several years. They just explore one day in these couples lives and who they are, how they have grown, how their relationship has fallen apart as friends, eventually finding out what they really want out of being friends. And expanding it into 14 episodes really is able to dive deep into each year and growing these characters individually and as friends as well. It's a smart idea to expand it into a television series rather than it being just a film. With a film, I do remember it being short for each year as they explored each person, Emma and Dexter, where they are now in each year, and then eventually growing to that relationship within that movie. And with this series, you do get episodes that vary from 18 minutes long to 36 minutes long. And Ambika Maud and Leo Woodall play Emma and Dexter, and they're so good in their roles. You do feel the different personalities that they have, that the relationship is clashing. Emma is a school teacher. She's driven. She wants to be a writer. Dexter, in his early years of the series, is a partier and he's taking he's not taking life too seriously. He's got a really good gig as a TV host, but they are two vastly different people. And the series does a nice job of dedicating an episode to each person in the early stages of the series you have a lot of dedication to emma as she wants to further her career and dexter is struggling with um, alcohol and drugs as well but then as we dedicate those separate episodes in the kind of beginning of the series to each character as we get into the middle half of these 14 episodes it's really where it dives deep into why they work as friends and also some falling out moments as well as we get further into those 14 episodes we see that they're meant to be together they have a strong relationship and the series does a nice job of building up to all of that and a really great payoff and you just get some emotional moments for these two so i really did appreciate how it was structured how it was set up in the beginning and you, you get every single year 1988 89, 90, and so on, all the way into the early 2000s. And you get to see them grow throughout all of this, where they are at in their different parts of their career as life has changed. You really get to feel connected to these characters as we uh, get towards episode 13 and 14. You, you spend a lot of time with these characters and you get to know their personal lives only based off of one day. And some episodes, I wish they were a little bit longer. You could add more depth to that one day in that one year. So much information about who they are now in that one certain year and how it pertains to that relationship with each other. I do wish the end was a little bit stronger. Like I said, I vaguely remember the movie. So the last two episodes cover several years and it's uh, where uh, previous episodes one through 12 was just one each year. And so 13 and 14 covered several different years and it just brushed over certain events really quick uh, to the point where I didn't quite feel that emotional punch to the end. I'm not gonna go into full detail with what happens to one of the characters at the end of the series. If you've seen the movie or read the book, then you know what I'm talking about. But the way that it happens is it's so quick. There's no time to feel 
that emotional weight to the end of this series. Yes, it did get a little emotional, but it definitely could have been stronger. They could have added more depth to the last couple episodes. Uh, they did, I think like four or five, six years within two episodes. And those episodes aren't that long of episodes. So there's not many times within those episodes that you can just kind of take a step back, breathe and just feel that emotional weight to the end. But everything prior to that, I really did like. I liked Dexter and Emma as individual people. And then you start to feel that, you know, they might not work together, but then you just feel that love that they have for each other as friends and as a couple as well. And there's so many great episodes really early on that you just, you feel the fun of that relationship and the more dramatic scenes as well. Ambika Maud and Leo Woodall are fabulous in their roles individually and as a couple as well. It's very strong. I am curious to go back and watch the Anne Hathaway and Jim Sturgis film and see how it compares to this series. I know that series is longer. You really dedicate your time to each singular year rather than just kind of rushing through it within the movie. But I really did like One Day. I felt the emotional connection between the two. The performances were really good. I like the idea of exploring each person and as them as a couple on one day each year and seeing how their lives are changed kind of just diving into it without really explanation of uh, what had changed between that last year and this year they kind of briefly explain it but you just kind of dive into where they are on that one day there's no time to say let's catch up on that prior year it's not the purpose of this story it's just this one day what they're doing now rather than let's cover everything for the previous year so if you like the movie with Anne Hathaway and Jim Sturgis or you just like the story, I do recommend checking it out. It's 14 episodes. It's a little bit long to get through, but it's worth your time. The end could be a little bit stronger, but I did overall like the series and just the, the romantic vibe to it. It's, it's adorable at times and it's fun as well. Just seeing that growth and the development of these characters throughout several years is really interesting. So before I give you my score for one day on Netflix, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here. So hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. I'm gonna go ahead and give one day a B. Thank you guys for checking out my review for one day on Netflix. Have you guys seen it by chance? what do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.